Surprise, surprise, surprise. Guess who's here? It's Susie time. And it's Saturday. The reason I couldn't come on on Thursday was because I couldn't come on on Thursday. So here I am. First of all, I've got to tell you, before I get into myself, Tinkerhead Natalie the Beauty Diva, I was going to say Beauty Divan, Gus, go away. Sorry. Natalie, Natalie the Beauty Diva, she did do a video today. She did something wrong last week. She screwed up. And anyways, that's... But, and then she put a little 27 second thing saying that her video is up, but a lot of people are misinterpreting it and thinking that she just put that up saying she's away for the weekend. She's not away for the weekend. She's home and she's waiting for people to go on her video. And a lot of people think she didn't do a video. So just look at that little thing. Click the link and away you go. You've got Natalie back. Speaking of Natalie, Natalie's I think is about 15 or 20 people away from being 5,000. Whoa, 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 whoa. I knew she was going to be a diva or a guru. So if you haven't subscribed, push that little red button. While we're at it, don't be afraid to push my little red button either. I love to have my little red button pushed. Okay, now let's get things started here. Somebody else, I think it's her anniversary today, is Carolyn of Miss Flip Flops and Pearls. And by the way, this is my second try at doing a video. I did one that was 15 minutes long before, and it just went flying. So here we go again. Carolyn of Miss Flip Flops and Pearls. She sent me, and I do not have my address up on YouTube anywhere. Only a couple of people have my address. And the reason for that is because I can't send things back to people, especially now with the exchange in the States and everything. And I always feel bad if I get a gift and I can't reciprocate. But some people are very stubborn. Anyway, she sent me the blush. Where am I? I've got my mirror behind my camera. And I keep holding it up there. She sent me the Maybelline Blush Nudes Palette, which I just love. It's, it's, a, it's like the... Uh, it's a sort of a... It's a cheaper version of the Naked 3, which I won from her. And I wanted that palette more than anything in the world. And what else did she send me? She sent me the American Beauty Maybelline brush in the Rose series. And she sent me these two friggin' fantastic, I tell ya, blingy shadows from NYX. One's like a coppery color, one's a pinky color, and I have no idea what they're called. Um, anyway, you can you can see them. I'm not going to do swatches and everything because I just swatched myself to death before. Those are going to go with my singles. And Carolyn, I love it. I love those. I love them. I love them. Speaking of palettes, speaking of palettes. Now, it's okay to be anonymous, but let's not get ridiculous here. Somebody sent me two palettes. Two, I tell you. Not three. Not four. Not one, but two. Look at the palette says at me. Wild Rose. Oh, Wild Child. Wild and Free. Why do you think it was called Wild Rose? Wild and Free and Wild Child. Now, I have never been a really big fan of BH Cosmetics. On some people, they look wonderful. I think I had a couple of palettes, and they didn't do anything for me. This... Oh my god, I've been working with this all week and it's so nice. And I had put a green sweater on before, sort of like a homemade looking nice green sweater. And because I've lost weight, it was all full of lumps where my fat used to be and it, it was falling off my shoulders and I had to take it off. And I was really peed off. But anyway, I found another green sweater. So I had used this color green. Look at the pigmentation on this. Look at that Well, I, my god. And then there's like a turquoise up here. And there's a, a purple. There's a purple. Look at the purple. Look at the blue. Which is great for outer corners. It's funny, the purple and the blue don't, they look very. And then there's a, a, a nice white. Not a nice white. An ice. Ice white. Ice. Not nice. Ice. See? Yeah, put that on my teeth. Anyway, there's that one. And then. There is, okay, this one. And this, I guess you would call 
a shimmery neutral palette. And this is just absolutely adorable. There's like a, um, that one, it's like a maroon. And then you go into the browns. The only thing is, these are all shimmers. You cannot use them on your transition or your, your crease. But for your mobile lid, oh my God. And like I said, they're baked. And, and oftentimes with baked, you have to wet them. Oh, and by the way, when you, if you ever wet, if you ever take your, um, your spray and you have to wet a shadow, never, never spray it directly on the shadow or the palette because you'll get what's called, like in my, in my uh, It Compact, it, it goes hard pan. Because if you put anything damp on anything, so what you do is you put your brush into the, you put your brush into the color, you spray the brush or you spray the brush, brush. Yes, you put the color on your brush and then you spritz the brush. Spritz the brush. You don't, never, never spritz your shadows. I did that once and I made a holy mess of one of my palettes. Another palette I got. Moving right along here. I got this little, I bought this about, I don't know, six weeks ago. I just had to, no, it was about a month ago. I just saw this. I love the packaging. I saw somebody reviewing it on YouTube. And I bought it, and it's called World Famous Neutrals by Benefit. And I love Benefit Shadows. And in this little baby here, we have two little potties. One of them is sort of like a taupey color, but it's for your eyelids. And the other one is like a pinky color. And it's not a base. They're not bases. And then there's just like a pink, a sort of a, an eggshell, a copper and then a, a crease color, brown. So there's that one. By Benefit. Is it a must-have? No. If you like pretty packaging, it's really nice. And they had a few different kinds, and I picked this one, and I'm very happy I did. So, um, okay. I told you about Tinkerhead. My shout out today, my shout out today, because we're spreading the love all over YouTube, is going to go to Miss Kristen321. I have been watching Miss Kristen321 since I started watching YouTube. I've always loved watching Miss Kristen321. She knows everything about makeup. She gets high end, she gets drugstore, she does tutorials, she does, uh, she calls it her, her empties, what she call it, her something file. Not a Rex file. Anyway, she calls it something. The o, the C file, the O file, I don't know. Anyway, go check out Miss Kristen321. She's besties with Melissa, our very famous Melissa. Melissa 55? Melissa 55. Who overnight became a rock star. Yes, she did. She went viral and she now has like 22,000 subscribers. Our little Melissa with the ice blue eyes. I'm afraid to even talk to her because she's like, she's going to be on the red carpet soon. And uh, my God, she just went viral. Somebody put something up about uh, their their aunt or their grandmother was the most beautiful 60-year-old grandmother in the world. And she is. And she's famous, I tell you. She's famous. Hi, Melissa. Can I have your autograph? Okay. Now, I've been busy getting my music put up on SoundCloud. Well, I haven't. My my nephew, my wonderful nephew has. And I'm just praying this thing doesn't go off again because it went off already before. Um, so my music is being put up on SoundCloud and that should be happening within the next week. So I'll have that all together. Okay. Now, I told you all I was going to start my tarot channel. This is a very, very old box. This is one of my, this, I think this is my favorite deck. I have many, many decks. I'm not going to show them all to you right now. This is, I call this my Susie deck. And this is a Rider weight deck. Anybody who knows anything about tarot, and I'm not going to bore you all with a tarot reading or anything right now, but I know a lot of you would like me to do that. I'm, I'm going to get a little bit into it. Um, it was just after, after 9-11. And I had uh, a normal, I had a normal Rider weight deck, and I never used it because I found it so boring. So I was using my Mother Peace deck, my my Robin Wood deck, my uh, Tapestry deck, uh, all kinds of decks that I have. And I just didn't like the Robin weight deck. And I realized the reason I didn't like the Robin weight deck was because it was too bland, blah. 
So, anyways, so what I did, I sent my uh, I sent my request to this friend of mine, Carol, who lives in New York, and she was at Ground Zero doing readings just after 9/11, and I told her how I really wanted to have my own deck customized, and um, and I wanted it to be the Rider weight. And I also told her that my mother used to have some uh, curtains in her in her bedroom. These little blue flowered curtains. And I told her that I wanted instead of the crisscrosses on the back of the Rider weight deck. Anyway, so Carol made me this deck. And it's even got it's almost identical to my mother's curtains, so little little roses on it. And then the colors of the deck. The colors of the deck. Like, okay, for example, the uh, the card, when you come to the card, the fool. Fool on the hill. I have the sun being, I have the sun being black instead of the sun being yellow. And anyway, so these are, these are all the, uh, the colors, the colors. This is the best deck. This is the best card anybody can get in the deck. This is the Nine of Cups. And that is one of the best, best cards anybody can get. So my reading channel is going to be called Tarot Tripping with Susie. So let's just suppose, um, let's just suppose one of you said to me, okay, Susie, well, you know, you know what I'm going to do? I am going to pick, I'm going to pick uh, two people. I want you to give me. All you have to do down below is, is give me your sign. I need your sign. I need your the uh, I need your sign. And I want you to give me two questions. Two questions. Like general questions, but sort of like make them a little bit so I know what you're talking about. Nothing that's gonna be because I'm gonna be reading the answers next next week to you. Or maybe be maybe Tuesday. I don't know. Um I'll give you like like nothing really really personal, but if you have something really really heavy weighing on your mind, like if you want to know what the outcome of something is going to be, so supposing somebody said to me, "Okay, Susie, um, um, I'm I'm looking for, I'm desperately looking for a job. What do you think my chances are? Do you think my chances are going to be good?" And a, a card reading goes. It, it spans from like three months. I have a lot of clients that come every three months to nine months. It's supposed to span for nine months. So so a client asked me, let's see if, if this comes out. Do I have any prospects of getting a new job? Ha. Huh. Okay, one. And I'll pick. I'll just pick three cards. Alrighty. So so what we have here, we have the lovers, which is also the horoscopal card of the Gemini. We have the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, which is a fantastic money card. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. So this person was asking me, do you think my chances are good of getting a new job? I would say they are very, very good of you getting a new job. Um, somebody, some, a younger person is going to be connecting you, uh, through somebody that you've been, it's going to involve a little bit of networking, could be somebody that you know in your, in your family. Um, it's going to take a while. It's going to take a while, but you have to make sure that this job that you take, that because this person here, whoever I'm doing this for, um, has a partner or a wife or a husband or whatever, um, that they're not telling you what to do, but that the hours sort of fit, like if you have children, um, that it's not going to be something that takes you too far away, so it's going to ruin your relationship. You've got to think about your relationship when you take this job. Um, You've also got to think it's it's going to be a very good paying job. Let's just put it this way. I did a reading on Kelly McKelly, who everybody knows and loves, uh, before she took her new job. And I was spot on. I was spot on. And I'm sure Kelly will come on here and tell you. 
So anyways, so with the Knight of Pentacles, it means there's going to be a young person coming along getting you a, a message. With the lovers, a lover stands for many, many things. But in this context, it would mean that um, probably the job is going to be yours um, most likely before the spring. It might not come to you before the spring, but you're definitely going to have a new job in the spring. And it's going to be a really good paying job. But also um, you have to advise your, you have to get together with whoever it is you're cohabiting with or living with or whatever. And um, and if you're in a lot of debt, you're going to be pay off, you're going to be able to pay off your debt. But um, money is not going to be a problem, but you have to be careful not to overspend. Anyways, I can go on like this for hours. And when I do a reading, it takes me about an hour and a half, okay? So I want two people to ask me three questions. And uh, just give me your, and you don't have to have a channel, any of my subscribers. And speaking of not ha having a channel, I want to call out another person, and that is Just Saying, my little Lisa. She doesn't have a channel, and she's a very loyal subscriber. And also Lorette Young. If anybody knows what's happened to Lorette Young, could somebody please let me know? Because Tinkerhead and I are really, really worried about her. We haven't seen her around. Okay, well, I better shut my big yap up. So I hope that this is a recording. Wish you all a wonderful Saturday. Don't forget to go over and see Tinkerhead's video. Don't forget to push the red button for Carolyn and Tinkerhead if you haven't subscribed. And you have a great, 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 great Saturday. And Yahoo! I got another day off and an afternoon and a day off tomorrow. So love you all. Mwah! Au revoir de Montreal. Oh my God, is this thing going to come out? The other one didn't, so that's why I say this. Do you think it's going to come out? This drives my sister insane when I do this. <laughs> Bye.